So she's getting ready to cut the ribbon. Here we go. Three, two, one. and all over the place coming here to also celebrate the event and it's such a quite a milestone to see the togetherness the contributions and all the pride that we take in Canadianship very very wonderful Wow, this is Hazel making her way and already you can hear the clapping, <laughs> very exciting and as people are saying she can still move, yes that's the hurricane, yes so we just capture her from the above and this is Hazel at the age of 100 getting the flowers from the audience, such an amazing masterpiece. It's such a great day to observe as we commemorate this wonderful woman and all the work that she has done and in addition you're gonna see a lot of people standing by the atrium of the mall also observing the event happening right now Part of the family, and I can go 
well, what's going to happen to Clark Sims? My job is to introduce a few people. We'll keep it very brief, and then we'll have the to come up and, and speak. And to our media friend, if you'd like to do one bunch of Hazel, we can do those later. And then the exhibit is out there. The exhibit is absolutely beautiful. Please do go out there and take a look. I want to acknowledge some friends that are, first of all, this could not be possible without some of our incredible sponsors, Aaron Lewis Thompson. Thank you. 
to the people and how they're able to contribute. One of the big things we also want to keep, and, and it's mentioned by Jake, was this city was built by a division of a woman who came who wanted to live in rural and in the country. And so she found herself in, in Streetsville with her husband, and they created the life and the journey became. And I won't give out all the information because that's to be shown in the display. Having said that, over time, there were many people that aren't with us today. And as we move along through the exhibit, we also want to um, bring light to those individuals like the Canucks, like the ships, the Mantella, many, many families, the Fidanis, over time in Mississauga that have contributed. So please enjoy our exhibit. This year you are seeing some former mayors and also current mayors from Melton, Brampton and all over the place coming here to also celebrate the event. And it's such a quite a milestone to see the togetherness, the contributions and all the pride that we take in Canadianship. Very, very wonderful. So now Hazel is making her way to address the public. <laughs> and he uh, doesn't believe in immigration. 
He doesn't believe in immigration. And you know what the old man said? He should go out to Mississauga to see how people from all over the world has joined into the community, integrated into the community, and contributed so much to the success of the city. The vote may recommend me come out to this song. I found that. I'm <laughs> so delighted when I read it. So, just my, my only message to people, continue to contribute. Continue to get involved. Make sure that you give some of your time, no matter how small, back to the community. Because that's the way we build a safe, or the safest city in Canada, or I don't know how many years. How do you become the safest city? Yes, we have a good police force. And yes, we have a good mayor and members of council. It's the people that builds a safe community. Yeah. When you take charge of the community in which you live, to make sure there is so little crime, if any crime at all, that's up to the citizens. The council can do so much, and the police can do so much. They can't do it to build a safe city without the citizens involved. Remember that, folks. Thank you to, to I, I think it's just a fantastic day in my life. And so, to all the volunteers, and to this young lady and to my son who worked so hard to make this happen. But the cooperation with them was so outstanding as they told me. Every, Everybody contributed. So thank you and have a wonderful day. This is what you heard from the great Hazel. And you can hear the realm of applause going on. And it's definitely permanent here. Um, as the community is a map of space, and we were hoping to open it in the spring. Unfortunately, you know, that didn't happen. Then we hope to open it in the summer. Mostly because they know how much the community loves this lady here <laughs> as much as we all do. And we wanted an opportunity close to Hazel's home. That's why it's happened in the west end of the city. We wanted the opportunity for everyone to be able to come and learn more about this icon, this legend, this wonderful lady who has left such a great legacy in the city of Mississauga. I had the honor of working with her for, I guess, the past 30 years or so on the council. And one of the things that she always told me when I first ran the council was, you know, you can make any decision you want, but make sure before you make that decision that you do your homework. <laughs> Why she lectured us all the time. She still says it today. She still says that today, and she's famous for that comment. So, so um, I'm so thrilled that we're opening this today on, on your behalf. And you can tell by the people that are here and all of the tweets that are going to go out, the Facebook posts, and she's on Facebook now. So. But, um, she, she wasn't when she was mayor, but she's on Facebook now. <laughs> so you see, the older you get, the, the more technology becomes spread. But uh, Hazel, everybody loves you. A little bit, yeah, yeah, no, it's no, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am uh, Council Ron Star, uh, Ward 6, and by the way, Hazel lives in Ward 6.
Italian family, there, there is no one stronger than yourself. So thank you very much, and appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, if I can invite the, uh, someone's going to help me out, we're going to have a ribbon cutting for the official launch. And then, again, as I said, the exhibit is right by Hudson Bay on the main floor. Please do go check it out. And, uh, and it's open. And so if I can invite the committee members to please join us. Right in the front, if I can, Patty, if I can have the ribbon uh, in the front, please. And so the committee members, if they can so please now they're forward. going to be cutting the ribbon. Uh, all the committee members are gathering here. All the volunteers, they're gonna put the ribbon in place and then cut it and officially open the exhibit in Erin Mills to the public to come and see between the month of October to February 2022. It's amazing seeing people coming together, friends, family leaders. Counselors, so it's going to be official. All right, here we go. First, we'll let you take a picture. Just let me know when all the pictures are done, and then we'll be able to So she's getting ready to cut the ribbon. Here we go. Three, two, one. such an amazing turnout and the show continues such an amazing 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 journey and you got counselors mayors just clamoring around Hazel to show their affection their respect and honor her at the same time so here is one of the mayors, and everybody's just congratulating Hazel. So, such a wonderful scene, such a wonderful event. Exactly, please, yeah, I'd love to come back. Yeah, so you got individuals coming just to take pictures with Hazel. <laughs> With the COVID restriction, you gotta have mask on. And you see individuals are still coming to show the admiration for Hazel. So you still have the paparazzi and the camera crew. People still by the atrium. Hazel is making her way out and she's just gonna take a seat for now just to get a break and then later on she will go to the exhibit area. It's just very very wonderful, very very wonderful. Getting friends and families and everyone just embracing an iconic figure like Hazel. A lot of people came to show the admiration, respect, Lovely, lovely, lovely scene.
So right here we are entering the Hazel McKellian exhibit and once you come in, it starts with the display of when she first lived in Gaspé, which is Quebec. And as the camera moves around, it moves on to her mayorship in Streetville and eventually Mississauga in general. It's quite an open space and you're gonna see some old typewriters, some old phones, some old chairs, and some old furniture. So this is quite a display, and there's a several medals that this wonderful woman has won, and as you come through the door, they are all in display here. As the camera moves around here, it also showcases to you other element of this wonderful woman's accomplishment and behind the backdrop here is the city of Mississauga as we currently see it. This city was burned down in 1979 through a train derailment and through the leadership of Hazel McKellian she was able to put the city of Mississauga on her back and able to mobilize individuals to bring Mississauga to where it is right now. So here are some of the displays of the derailment. And as the camera also moves on here, it also goes to show you the affection that Hazel McKellian have for hockey, specifically for the Canadian women hockey. And you could see some display here when she was 100 years old. There was a specific jersey made for her and it embodies the Maple Leaf colors and also the Montreal Canadian color as you can see here. As the camera also moves on here, it also goes to showcase to you her Olympics involvement in the Vancouver 2010 Olympics. And here are some medals and some jerseys that she has signed and some of the athletes have signed. Here is the torch of the Vancouver 2010 Olympics where Hazel McKellian herself actually held through the event and also showcase to you some displays here where it says Hazel McKellian female hockey champion and it showcase to you different phases of the Olympics and her involvement. This goes a long way to showcase to you this wonderful woman and what she has done for Canadian hockey specifically for the women. Another area of interest is Hazel's passion for fishing. And these are some of the fishes that she had caught over the years. And you can see some in magazines and also in the newspaper. As we move along, we can see some camping items here, as you can see. And all the different, different, different items that she used for her fishing trips. Along the wall here, we can also see Hazel McKellian's charity events and also her philanthropic activities. Over the years, she was heavily involved in Credit Valley Hospital, the Trillium Hospital, the Queensway, which is finally has become Trillium Health Partners. But it also goes to show you how much support this wonderful lady has for the city of Mississauga and the healthcare in general. And displaying here, you could see tremendous love she has shown and the wonderful people she met along the way while she's doing all this charity work. The affection for humanity never stops. And over 40 years of friendship that was formed between the city of Mississauga and also a city in Japan. And there was actually a park dedicated to Mississauga from the city of Japan called Career Park. And this is all part of the work that Hazel McKellian did to bring unity to humanity in general. As the camera also zoom on here, these are some honorary degrees and honorary doctors and honorary as it goes on, which Hazel McKellian has accomplished over the years. Specifically, this is from Ryerson University and it says Hazel McKellian, the degree of Doctor of Commerce. And this plaque here also showcases her involvement as the city of mayor of Mississauga between 1978 to 1914. So these are all displays to commemorate this wonderful woman over the years and what she has done for the city of Mississauga, Canada, and the world in general. 
Along here, you could see also her tremendous support for the First Nation and the in indigenous people in Canada. And you could see she was tremendously involved and very, very passionate. And you could see on the Madunduin Day in 2005, she was actually part of it. And you could see she's meeting with several various leaders within the community and greeting them and making sure they are also inclusive in the Canadian heritage. This display here goes to summarize all the accomplishments this wonderful lady has done. And it showcases you the towers of Mississauga, the transit, the Mississauga Square, and all different activities that she embarked on over the years. So this is all part of the accomplishment of this wonderful woman over the years. And all this is in display in this museum. As we move on here, this is the last stage of the exhibit and it goes to show you also the affection Hazel has for artwork and it all displayed on the wall unit as you can see here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can come and visit this wonderful exhibit which is portraying one of the most Canadian iconic women who ever lived and who ever celebrated. So thank you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's your boy KB presenting Canada to the world and this is a very special episode dedicated to one and only Hazel McCallion, our wonderful true trailblazer called the Hurricane. Thank you.